Good Monday morning, lads. I'm Moose Santos. And I'm Dan the Man Robinson, and this is your KWHS News. We have some new college visits which might interest you, so listen up. Remember, you do need a pass from the Counseling Center to attend. Here's the lineup for October and November. Our October visits kick off tomorrow when the reps from Colorado Mesa University stop by. And on Wednesday, October 3rd, we have two visits scheduled. The first comes from the CU Boulder reps during advisory, and then at lunch, the Barbizon Modeling School will be in the lower commons. If you are interested in attending the U.S. Naval Academy, their team will join us on Thursday, October 4th in Bowers Gym in room 501 during lunch. A school a little closer to home will visit on October 11th. That's when the reps from CSU Pueblo campus will be here. The 16th of October brings us the reps from Ozark Christian College, and at the end of the month, on the 30th, Pikes Peak Community College is scheduled to visit. Our November visits start on Wednesday, November 7th when Luther College steps in. Then, Fort Hayes State University will drop by on November 13th. If you've been waiting to talk to a UCCS rep, they'll join us on November 15th. Closing out the end of the month is a visit from the Adams State University reps, who will be here after Thanksgiving on November 29th. As you know, these dates are subject to change, so stay tuned and we'll be sure to make any corrections to dates and times for you. Juniors and seniors, WHS will be an ACT test site on Saturday, October 27th. If you did not get yourself registered, Check in with the Counseling Center or go to the ACT.org website for other test sites, dates, costs, and registration information. One more note for juniors. Remember, the PSAT NMSQT deadline to sign up and pay for the test is this Friday. The cost is $16, and remember, space is limited to the first 20 students who sign up and pay. The date for the test is Wednesday, October 10th. Seniors, if you want to know what kind of financial aid you may need or qualify for as you are preparing for your college career, then join Mr. Walker at Financial Aid Night to Tonight at 5 p.m. in the WHS library. Specialists will help you learn how to financial aid works, how to apply for student loans, and most importantly, help you fill out the FAFSA. Bring your tax documents so you can get started tonight on that form. In fact, bring your parents too. Mr. Walker is your point of contact for this event, so call or email him with your questions. One more very important note for seniors. Herf Jones will be in the lower commons during lunch this Friday to take your class ring and cap and gown orders. You should have received your Herf Jones order packet at the senior meeting. If you need one, see Miss Abeda in the Counseling Center. Coming up, let's head to the Sports Desk with Ethan Simon for scores and upcoming events. What's the scoop, Ethan? Happy Monday, Glads. I'm Ethan Simon, and this is your Gladiator Sports Update. Our boys' soccer team is at home this Thursday against the TCA Titans at 4 p.m. Come out and support our Glads. In tennis news, the boys are prepping for regionals this week on Thursday and Friday at Cheyenne Mountain. We wish them many sixes. Joey Stroop is at the 4A State Golf Tournament today and tomorrow at Flying Horse. We will have updates and scores for you on Wednesday. Our Lady Glads are headed to the Purple School tomorrow afternoon for matches against Mesa starting at 4 p.m. Let's take a huge blue wave of support for the ladies. Go Glads! Be Mesa! Whoosh! The ladies would also like to remind everyone of their fourth annual Dig Pink Volleyball game on Thursday, October 11th against Sierra. They are asking everyone to wear pink to this match to raise awareness and show support for people fighting against this disease. They will be collecting donations and will have a special presentation before the game for a breast cancer survivor. Our Lady Glad softball team is on the road to Elizabeth tomorrow to take on the Cardinals at 4 p.m. We know our ladies have the right mix of sass and power to get this W. We'll have scores for you on Wednesday. The cross country team was at the Northfield Invite in Denver over the weekend and managed to clock in some very respectable times with Ryan Outler leading the pack. The next meet for the team is Saturday at Fountain Fort Carson. If you can make it out, you should check out some of the fastest runners on campus. Congratulations to our Gladiator football team for getting their first win of the season. Two claps and a whoosh. Whoosh. The boys came out strong and held the line. The boys take on the Rampart Rams on Thursday night at 7 p.m. Let's hope they can keep up their momentum. We'll have scores for you on Friday. Our Mighty Glad Marching Band is on the road on Saturday, October 6th in Parker, Colorado for the Legend Festival. We wish them well and know they'll bring back some spectacular hardware. 
In forensics news, the team is preparing for its first World Schools debate of the season at Discovery Canyon High School on October 11th. We know the team will be effective in their persuasion. And finally, in swimming news, Miss Wickberg is holding an informational meeting for any ladies interested in joining the swim and dive team this year. Mark your calendar for October 15th in room 110 at lunch. If you cannot make it to this meeting, please see Miss Wickberg. That's your Gladiator Sports Update. I'm Ethan Simon. Have a great week and best of luck to all our teams. Now back to Moose and Daniel for more news. Thanks for the update, Ethan. Glads, if you need a quiet space after school to do some homework, use the computers, or just kill some time until practices or games start, check out Student Union. The Student Union is open in the library every day after school from 2.45 until 4.15. Remember, you have to have a participation sticker on your ID to stay in play. Get those from Mrs. Price in the main office. And now, here's Seth Ryan and Miss Betsy with their lunch menu for today. Boy, what for lunch? I'm hungry. Happy Monday! Monday! Chicken fried steak today. Yep. Mashed potatoes. potatoes. Yep. Yep. All the good stuff. All the good stuff. And on Tuesday, it's a chicken sandwich. Chicken sandwich. We'll see you then. Thanks. French fries. Today. Oh, yeah. Yum. I can't wait for lunch today. Students, see Miss Betsy in the cafeteria if you need a free reduced lunch application. Also, if you owe money on your lunch account, please pay those charges in person or go online to add money to your account. Sophomores, juniors, and seniors, Renaissance applications are due this afternoon at 3 p.m. See Mrs. Price in the main office to turn those in. And one more note for seniors from the yearbook staff. Your senior photo and quotes are due by October 19th. See Ms. Kennedy in room 103 for additional details on how to submit those for the yearbook. And speaking of yearbooks, if you haven't ordered your yearbooks this year, you can order yours today in the business office. Or, if you prefer, go to yearbookforever.com and do it online. The cost is $55 until the end of November. Students and staff, WHS is hosting a blood drive on Thursday, October 4th in the small gym. All donors must have a valid driver's license, not a military or school ID. You may sign up in the business office and walk-ins are welcomed. Just a reminder, if you are an alternate, you need to have permission to donate and a valid ID. See Ms. Melton in room 103 for more information and details. And finally, congratulations to our 2018 homecoming king and queen. That's it for our Monday edition, Glads. I'm Moose Santos. And I'm Dan Robinson, and this was your KWHS News. Have a great week.